What's up, everybody? All right, this is our special Halloween episode. In this episode, we are going to count down the top five places that are the most haunted right here in Minnesota. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see more videos just like this. All right, let's get to the video. Number five, Gibbs Farmhouse, St. Paul, Minnesota. In 1867, the Gibbs Farmhouse caught on fire. They ended up saving the farm but nine-year-old Willie Gibbs died of smoke inhalation soon afterwards. The house is now a museum, and Willie likes to remove toys from locked cabinets and leave toys scattered all over the floor. He opens and closes doors and makes a bunch of noise in the upstairs rocking chair. People have also claimed to see his face looking at them through the windows as they walk by. Number 4. Palmer House Hotel, Sox Center, Minnesota. Palmer House Hotel has been known as one of the most haunted places in Minnesota. Paranormal activities have been reported as far back as 1950. The people have claimed to see a small boy, a bouncing ball down the stairs, and hearing voices. There have been reports that a famous author, Sinclair Lewis, may also be haunting the building. Number 3. Wabasha Street Caves St. Paul, Minnesota. During the Prohibition era, these caves were said to host a number of famous figures such as Ma Baker and John Dillinger. Rumor has it that three gangsters were murdered in the back room and buried under the cement floors. The owner has said he sees the three men in 20 styles of attire as well as a strange mist floating through the halls. Also, reports of a ghostly bartender who is said to refill empty wine glasses. A woman by the name of Nina Clifford is said to appear at times wearing a dress. Number 2. Minneapolis City Hall, Minneapolis, Minnesota. In 1889, a man by the name of John Mosick was the last man to be executed in Minnesota. This is remembered not only being the last person executed there, but because it took three minutes for him to die, his crime was murdering a man over fourteen dollars. It is said that his angry spirit haunts three locations in the city hall. The courtroom where he was convicted, the mayor's office, and the site of his hanging. It is said he has mood swings, reports of him rearranging pictures in only his undergarments, and on worst days it is said he makes judges and attorneys severely ill. Alright guys, before we get to that number one spot, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification button for more great videos just like this. Also check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Prodigy and Company. Number one, Grey Cloud Island, Washington County, Minnesota. Grey Cloud Island has the highest concentration of Native American burial mounds of anywhere in the United States. There are reports of a transparent motorcyclist a young woman weeping for her deceased infant, and a bunch of other ghosts. The residents of the island don't care for ghost hunters. People have claimed to be run off the island by a man in a white truck. Rumors have it that they are so protective because people say the church camp on the island is a cult or even a secret KKK camp. 